A wide, of, a wide adopt is the K-REACH is to protect the human health and environment from risk and hazard of chemicals. So all the new chemical substances and existing chemical substances, the more than one ton manufactured and imported into Korea for industrial use, should be reported, registered, evaluated for managed on their hazard and risk. And effective to 1st of January. Uh, this is the flow diagram for chemical substance. Mostly the chemicals, uh, for the chemical industries, mostly the chemical substances. So you know, to see the diagram is the existing chemical substances more than one ton per annum. And the new chemical substances, they should be reported. And the substances subject to registration, so more than one ton per annum, they should be registered. The new chemical substances also the registered. And also the high risk concerned low volume substances, even for less than one metric ton, they should be registered. After the hazard examination, the sum of the substance could be designated as the toxic chemicals. After the risk assessment, the sum of the substances could be designated of the authorized substances and uh, restricted banned substances, like that way. Product means a finished product for consumers, not a chemical product. So some product containing hazard chemical substances, uh, one, more than one ton per year, and the content is the higher than 0.1%, should be notified to Minister of Environment. And also the, the MOE the will designate of the high risk concerned products. The household product like detergent, the fabric softener, etc., and the biocidal product. This kind of product should be risked through the risk assessment. Then is notice of safety, labeling criteria, uh, approval of manufacturing and importing. So no compliance should be distribution control. It's a ban or a selling recall, something like that way. October, so announcement subordinate decreased a little bit delayed. So the, according to the information, uh, the subordinate decrease has been uh, finally published in a couple of weeks the beginning of November. And the first pre-notice of substance subject to registration list is already done yesterday. It's a little more than it's 500 the substances. The so November is announcement, a subordinate regulation and public notice guidance, etc. The January 1st enforcement of KDH. Uh, Two thousand fifteen, maybe so I don't know. Is the June, July, the May, June, July is the final? Is a notice of substance subject to registration list of the pre-notice. April, at the end of April, the first submission of first annual reporting. This one is a, could be the industry's the preparation. Uh, it's a step training should be done for understanding and the responding is K-REACH, it's a communication with customers for using product, the management of SDS, the building of inventory of so manufacturing, importing, or using chemical substances. So in order to track the components and their volume, et cetera, for the annual reporting, the confirming is the new chemical substance and existing chemical substance subject to registration. For that purpose, we need to building up, uh, the build up an inventory list. And the seeking professional support from a consultant, either for overall advice for dashi pre preparation and the registration, if necessary. In that case, the secrecy, secrecy agreement with the consultant would be necessary. And the establishment of an internal IT system, if possible, is that that could be as a good tool. And the membership at association, in order to be in the information loop, 
the, with upcoming relations, the regulations, the KCMA, the KRCC, and other as the associations. And the Seeking Cooperation is working group with the peers, officials, associations. For example, it's AMCHAM Joint Working Group, and the ECCK, the Chemical Committee Working Group, etc. Yes, thank you.